Little did Anne Shawar realize that when she eloped with John Bitar, their love story would transcend generations. After an astounding 85 years of marriage, their milestone celebration paid homage to the very beginning of their remarkable romance. In 1921, a 10-year-old John Bitar, accompanied by his brother, embarked on an international journey from their native Syria to reunite with their father in the United States. The family eventually settled in Bridgeport, Connecticut, where Bitar would later make a living by selling fruit. His job took him along the Connecticut coast, peddling fruit in waterside towns, yet the most captivating chapter of his life unfolded in his own neighborhood, a close-knit Syrian community where 17-year-old Anne Shawa also resided. Bitar, the proud owner of a 1932 Ford Roadster, began chauffeuring Anne and her friends to school, gradually evolving their relationship. He fondly recalled she loved the Ford, and it appeared she loved John too. However, their romance faced a significant hurdle. Anne's father had arranged her marriage to a man two decades her senior, a decision perhaps motivated by financial security during the Great Depression. Despite her father's plans, Anne's heart was set on the young man from her neighborhood. Together, they made a bold decision to elope. On November 25, 1932, they embarked on a journey to Harrison, New York, some 34 miles away from their Connecticut hometown. Not surprisingly, Anne's family was less than thrilled with her choice. Her aunt even consoled her father by predicting that her marriage to Bitar would not stand the test of time. However, the newlyweds would go on to prove everyone wrong. Throughout their more than 80-year marriage, the Bitars welcomed five children, 14 grandchildren, and 16 great-grandchildren into their lives. Following their wedding, they ventured into the grocery business, closing it in 1963. John then pursued a career as a realtor. Anne, on the other hand, managed the day-to-day -day affairs of their home. Remarkably, even after reaching the age of 100, while John was 104, she continued to clean, cook, tend to the garden, and host family gatherings. By this point, the Bitars had earned recognition as the nation's longest married couple. The title awarded by the Worldwide Marriage Encounter wasn't merely a testament to the duration of their union, but rather a recognition of all they had achieved and experienced during their eight decades of wedded bliss. Their love story truly stood the test of time. Upon receiving their well-deserved award, Anne and John attributed their enduring zest for life to their large and loving family. Anne expressed her gratitude, saying, we were fortunate enough to live long enough to see this, and it's really one of the most gratifying things in the world to see your great-grandchildren, to see your grandchildren become adults. This same inspiration undoubtedly propelled them toward their next remarkable milestone, their 85th wedding anniversary. At that moment, CBS Minnesota suggested that they might hold the record for the longest marriage in the country based on chronological evidence. Regardless of their official title, these centenarians remained deeply in love as they celebrated their anniversary with their extended family in Fairfield, CT. News crews caught up with the couple in 2017. Their party took place just a few miles from the very spot where the Bitars had first crossed paths, and there were heartwarming echoes of their early romance. The highlight of the celebration was a special vehicle waiting for them, the Ford Roadster, reminiscent of the one John had purchased with his hard-earned money. As they got into the car, John turned to his bride of 85 years and lovingly declared, you are my honey, like old times. Their extraordinary and enduring union left other couples wondering about the secret to their longevity. When asked, John shared a simple sentiment with the UK online newspaper, The Independent, saying, we're just lucky to be together. For him, the essence of their marriage was the joy of being in each other's company. Expanding on this wisdom, John advised couples to find happiness in life's little pleasures and to seek contentment in what they have and do. He emphasized the importance of contentment as a cornerstone of their enduring love. While they did face their fair share of challenges, John admitted that most of their disagreements seemed to originate in the kitchen. He humorously stated, It's only about cooking, that's the only arguments we had prompting a differing perspective from his wife, Anne. Anne believed that their ability to listen to one another, no matter the situation, was the key to avoiding many conflicts. She shared with CBS Minnesota, no matter what the situation is, we're not arguing, we're listening, and we've always listened. Ultimately, the couple advised others to embrace compromise in their relationships. Anne emphasized that expecting miracles from one another or demanding absolute agreement didn't work. Recognizing and respecting each other's differences was crucial. The Bitar's advice may seem simple, but it had been the formula for one of the world's most enduring and successful marriages.